Hey, this is Eric from Ticket Spice, and in this demo, I'm going to show you how to set up and use email automations inside Ticket Spice. Email automations can come under different terms and names, such as drip campaigns. Ultimately, this is a powerful tool for you to drive revenue and sales to your ticketing page using an automated email strategy. So, for example, drip campaigns, it's a sequence of uh, preset and pre written emails that are going to go out automatically with certain delays and intervals which will invite that list to take action to reserve tickets. Then when an attendee reserves tickets, they will be unenrolled from the remaining emails in the sequence. So I'll show you how to set that all up right from Ticket Spice. And what's great about Ticket Spice is all the data is integrated, it's synchronized, and it will report the ticket sales and revenue automatically for you. So you can get rid of all the different integrations and other tools and just use Ticket Spice. So to get started, we're just gonna hit start using automations. And if you don't have a card on file yet, it'll ask you to put one on file and you can start using it. So start using automations, it'll ask me for an automation name. The second step here is choosing who is this email going to go to. Now, if you've got an email list inside a constant contact or MailChimp, you can toggle this right here and paste in all the recipients right there and send email automations directly from Ticket Spice like this. It's really awesome or you can target past attendees to your event. So if I want to target my farm festival, I can add them or other events uh, for my system as well. And so this will build my contact list in which this email automation will target. Next, we're going to track sales. And so we're gonna choose a target page to track sales. So I'm gonna have this go to the Beat Festival with Dwight Schrute, and I'm gonna track the responses and sales to that ticketing page and then I'm going to create automation. All right, so our automation is now set up here. It shows me how many target recipients this will go to, and now we're going to create a series of emails, and we'll create the very first one, and I'll walk you through the settings here. The first is gonna be the reference name, and that's gonna be an internal name that you use to gauge performance. Then you'll have the subject line, who it's from, the reply to, and then we'll have our message body, and we, we give you here the link to your target sales ticketing page so you can build the link inside the copy. So I'm gonna go now and fill this out. All right, we got our first email in here. Subject line Beat Festival is here from Dwight Trout. We have our email body here and I've copied that link and I've included that in the body here. This is promoting a 25% off for past attendees. Use Beat 25 to get your discount from Dwight Trout. We'll hit review email. We see a summary here and that looks good, and we will save. And now that email is added in here. And now we can go create the second email. I'll hit add email here. And you'll notice at the very bottom here, I now can schedule a delay for this email to follow after the first. So I'll fill this out and add a delay. All right, email number two is ready. We'll go down here and we'll have this go two days after the previous one and then we'll choose to send it at 7.55 in the morning. We'll review, we'll hit save. Email number two is in there, let's add email number three. And same thing, subject line, who it's from, message, and then a delay, I'll fill it out now. All right, email number three is looking good. We got our last chance. It's again, kind of a loss aversion type of email using code uh, and then links to get the tickets. We'll send this one three days after the prior one and then we'll send this one at 11.05. All right, we'll hit save. And there we go, email number three is there. Let's do one more, and maybe we'll add a longer delay in here. We might, let's add it to be like a week or 10 days, and let's do a flash sale. All right, email number four, it's looking good. We got our subject line, it's a flash sale till midnight. We got our links, we got our copy, and let's go down here, and let's add maybe 14 days. Let's add two weeks, and then we will send this why don't we send it at 9.15 in the morning? We'll review that email and then hit save. And there we go, we have all four emails set and ready to go. And then when I wanna set this live, I just go up here and I hit publish. And this will now ask me to choose when I want to send. Do I wanna send immediately or on a scheduled date? So I could say I wanna send this out next week at 9 a.m. and it will then schedule all the rest of the emails from there. Or we can just choose send immediately and hit publish. All right, my automation is now published and email number one is queuing up, getting ready to send right now. 
Now, once the email is on its way, I can still modify emails two, three, and four. And I can go over here and I can hit edit and I can change anything about them, is including their send date and their send times. I could change their email copy. I can do any number of those things as I want uh, before they get sent. But obviously once it gets sent, you can't modify it. So if you ever wanna kill the entire automation and stop it completely, you just go up here and hit stop automation and that will pause all remaining emails in the sequence and they will not send. But as these emails go out, we will track the recipients, we'll track the clicks, the tickets sold, and also the revenue. And this is really key because to do this, it often takes many other software platforms to bring all together these numbers we show you and they are here automatically within Ticket Spice. So remember how this works is that if an attendee registers after email number one, they won't get email two, three, and four. So you don't need to worry about people getting erroneous emails when they take action and reserve tickets, they will get removed from the remaining email sequence. So there you have it. That is how you create drip campaigns using the email automations and Ticket Spice. We are so excited about what this is going to do for your ticket sales. Be sure to add it in your account, start using it, and uh, let us know if you have any questions. We've got a lot of feature enhancements planned here, so get there, use it, let us know how it works, and we'd love to hear from you as well. Thanks for watching this video. We'll catch you on the next one.